Hi, I'm Dina Blizzard from One Funny Mother. This is my mom, Diana. Uh, I am a comedian, mother of three, and uh, also have a presence on uh, Facebook, and you can follow us along at Anything One Funny Mother. One of our favorite things to do during the holidays is we have a series called Voila! Cooking with Di. Uh, where we make Italian recipes, uh, specifically Italian cookies, all through the fall, going into the Christmas season. And so today we thought we'd share one of our recipes with you. Um, and that is for what, Mom? Pizzelles. Pizzelles. Oh, That's how you have to say it. Pizzelles. Uh, if you're not sure what a pizzelle <laughs> is, uh, you probably have seen them in different places. This is a pizzelle maker. I'm going to block my mom's face. Uh, this is a pizzelle maker, which you would need if you're going to cook along with us. Uh, and inside you'll see that there are like little waffle cookies in there that's what we're making today um, and we do this uh, usually with kids and grandkids I've been making them with my grandmom since I was a kid um, and so we thought we'd share our holiday tradition with you which is great because this weekend there is a great new show premiering called a Christmas for the ages starring what is it Natasha Bure Bure yes I I know. Is that her daughter? Is, yes, it is her daughter. That's exciting. exciting. So you can cook along with us, make some great pizzelles, sit down and watch Christmas for the Ages uh, this coming weekend. It's going to be great. Um, so let's get started. Um, what you must know about us is um, we're not really no, we're cooks not. <laughs> or bakers. This is not, no. I don't know that you're going to learn anything <laughs> on the show, but it'll be fun. Uh, and you'll have a great time. So uh, this particular recipe is for the flat pizzelles, uh, but my mom is also going to show you um, how you can turn these pizzelles into homemade cannolis, um, which will be pretty yummy as yeah, well. Yeah, that's good. So we're going to start okay. with our uh, ingredients. So I'll hold it up. All What's right. the first ingredient? The eggs. I already have those in the bowl. The eggs. Six eggs. And here's the thing. You want to use as many dishes as possible. <laughs> That's my mom's plan. Now, is to dirty this dish and then put this dish on another dish well, that she probably eggs. licked. So <laughs> I would have a lot. I don't want to Just contaminate keep it your counter. No. I contaminate <laughs> everything. So six eggs, got it, in Cup two and bowls. a half of sugar. Cup and a half of sugar, which you can just stick your finger in. Uh, the cup of butter, which we have melted, and it's cool. Now, why does it have to cool, Diana? Because if you pour the butter in when it's hot You'll be into drunk. the egg, it can uh, cook the egg. So you have egg. to make sure you cool it. Do that. Okay, right. Do that. Two teaspoons of vanilla or the anise flavoring. Now, she likes Let's vanilla. Let's talk about it. Yes. Okay, so the traditional Italian pizzelle is made with this. Now, I've heard people say anise, and I've seen people say anise. Anise, I know. You My say mom. anise? My mom always said anise. Uh, anise? Know, right. So um, anisette is, I guess, what it's derived from. It has like a licorice flavor to it. Anisette does, and so does the anise. So flavor. this is the traditional pizzelle flavor. And you can get this at your supermarket. I know my girlfriend's husband is a pharmacist at a local store here, and the pharmacy brings in drops, well, right? They, they have anise oil. So we anise, have dogs. We do, yes. Surprise. <laughs> So the anise oil is much, much stronger. You would not use like two oh. teaspoons of anise oil. That's Gotta bad. Adjust. It's only adjust. a couple adjust. drops. Call me! It's a very <laughs> relaxing holiday here. <laughs> I'm sure all go. the shows. On, like this all the time. on this are going to be great. An American bake along. Great American bake along. <laughs> Just bring some kids and dogs in. A lot of fun. A lot of fun. So this is what is the traditional flavoring. Not everybody likes it. Right. It's not for everybody, but it is like their true tradition. You can make an adjustment to this by making it with uh, with vanilla. The two teaspoons of vanilla in place of that, right? Which is yummy. So, but if yeah. you want to go like she, full traditional, she butter. makes vanilla. I make anise, so I'm taking this this batch home. No, uh, three and one quarter cups, and we're using a gluten free flour today. That's in here because Dean is gluten free, yes. so it's uh, three and a quarter cups. 
If you're not gluten free, you can still make it, but you, you can would, eat like a normal you person. Would, you would use three and a half cups of regular flour, but this is three and a quarter cup of our favorite gluten free so flour. So, one of the things that we specialize in on our cooking show is gluten free cooking and baking. And so, my mom is really great about taking recipes, kind of retooling them and adapting them because gluten free items sometimes can be dry, um, but pizzelles are great because it's a hard cookie. That it's, and same like we'll make biscotti as well. They're all kind of dry cookies anyway, so it lends itself to gluten-free baking. So feel free to follow us along on Facebook as well, uh, where we cook as every and week. And in here is four teaspoons of baking powder. Obviously. And that's it. So the ingredients you have around the house, between the eggs, the sugar, the butter, the yeah. flour. And I'll tell you how easy vanilla, this is. Right? If you can find yourself an old Italian lady to that prep all the bowls, <laughs> this is a snap. So easy. Okay, so go find yourself a pizzelle maker and an older <laughs> Italian lady. Okay. All right, so we already melted our butter and that's cooling. So the next step in, um, we already measured our flour. So in the large bowl, we're going to beat our six eggs. You don't wash it out, you just do this. No, I, 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 I did. I know. Six eggs. You want to pour those six in there? Six eggs. You pour them. I All right, the I can pour it. Now, see, now what? You don't want that to drip. So, so look, see. So you put now it right? we use the other. Yeah, yeah, now yeah. It's yeah two you don't are dirty. want that. No, the, the eggs. Okay. No, no. no. Oh, so right. I'll put that in there. I think so. Rachel Ray has a team. <laughs> So we've got our six eggs, and we're going to put in our one and a half cups of sugar. Do it! Do it, do it, do it. And Lots we're going to bring that over sugar. to the mixer, and we're going to beat that up, and it's going to get real nice and creamy and yellow. That goes down. That goes on. Perfect. All right. Um, so... Um, during the holidays, uh, we're Italian, so cooking is a very big part of what we do. Um, I don't know if uh, you have some favorites that you do, but our Christmas cookie list, I'll cut water, involves no, no, these good. pizzas, I just <laughs> as well as some biscottis we'll do. We do like a seven layer cookie. We do pecan balls. Oh, the pecan balls, Which really is good. another name for pecan balls. <laughs> They're already balls. frozen. They are, but those are also, what are they? Some people call them wedding like cookies. like a snowball, a snowball. Wedding right. cookies. I've heard them to be like, uh, there's like a Mexican cookie that's like right. it as well. Yes. Um, so we'll do those. We'll always do like a peanut butter cookie. Again, all gluten free. Um, but for us, we actually started doing this cooking show during the pandemic when everybody was very separated didn't really feel like christmas um, and cooking for us became a great way to get into the spirit and fill our bellies even when we were far away so hopefully it brings you some joy and brings back some great memories of the holidays all right what's up so now we're going to add the cool melted butter and the anise flavoring to this so, yes so you add that pour it all in excellent all right, mix that up and put in our two teaspoons of flavor. Now, the pizzelles are pretty easy to make. Um, they do require getting uh, a nice little pizzelle maker for yourself. I have my grandmom's original pizzelle maker. My mom bought this one for her house. Um, and they don't take very long. So um, one of the things once we get to the cooking part is they cook fairly quickly. They do. And you're looking for just like a light toasted flavor. Um, sometimes if they're in too long, they get really brown and not yes. as yummy. Yeah. But you oh, still, still eat them. They're so good. Yeah, you they're still so good with them. just the color. So this particular really arn up. is just all metal. Arn? Iron. Well, iron. Arn. Iron, iron. This particular iron. iron is a I metal one. I can smell one. the anisette already. So I know. Can you oh. smell it? Uh, but they do have them like a Teflon coating. I prefer this one, but you could buy either one. That buy either like. one, but the old lady said to buy the iron one. I, I like this one. I I just, whatever the oh, Italian you smell lady that anisette. Yes, you smell that. You smell like that. You sm that's good. I'm still going to eat them. That's good. All right, now what? Now, we did that, and we're gradually going to add the flour and baking powder mixture a little at a time to blend well. And the batter will be thick like a, a pancake, a thick pancake batter by the time. Not real, not real high because that's Why? It. What will happen, it'll, Diana? It'll puff up all over. That's what I wanted. I wanted it to feel like do Christmas. It? You want me do, to do it? it? Woo! <laughs> yeah! That's how you cook. That's how you make a dust feel. 
Well, we're trying to get as many dishes dirty as we yeah. possibly can. In the with whole this kitchen. Recipe. In the whole kitchen, apparently. With this whole recipe. All right. So you don't want this runny. You want a nice, thick consistency. Not too thick, like I said, because the thicker the batter, the thicker the pizzel. An Italian pizzel. I'm just going to beat this up real quick. I was going to say, sometimes I've seen pizzels <laughs> sold in supermarkets. Right. And when I see them in supermarkets, they're thick. They're really thick. Right. And that is not at all Lower. what a pizzel yeah. actually is. Like, a pizzel is, if done correctly, by an old Italian. <laughs> it's usually pretty thin and should probably break while you eat it. Um, it's perfection and it's it's all with this gr a great iron um, but sometimes when I see like a pizzel if it's really thick or if it bends a little you're like this is not a pizzel. <laughs> so these are just tests that you can do to judge other people's pizzels is my point um, but uh, they're pretty easy to make they don't last long so one of the other favorite uh, recipes that we have is biscotti um, I don't know if you know this. Uh, sometimes you might see them in a store like a Stella Dora would be like a bis kind of a biscotti. But biscotti actually means twice baked, right? Yes. So uh, <laughs> with biscotti, you, uh, you, make, you bake them, you cut them up, turn them on their side, and then you bake them again. And uh, the whole point, uh, it's what we would call like a dunker. So um, I don't know what it is about Italian people having coffee. <laughs> Uh, and then having to dunk pastries into them, but hard as a rock. Um, Pizzels are not dunkers. They're very delicate compared to a biscotti. So uh, they're kind of very different things, but super yummy. And even though we had, we added a lot of sugar to this recipe, it's not a very sweet recipe. It's not, no. Um, you get a lot. You're going to get 60 plus pizzels, so it's like five dozen. Now, I won't be standing here all day doing <laughs> two pizzels at a time, but old people have that kind of time, which is why I said don't make this recipe without an old person or a child who you might be able to convince that this So you can see the batter, and actually, this batter looks a little thick to me. I may add another, another egg, but I'm going to see. Yeah, I'm yeah, going to see yeah. when we do it. If, if the pizzel is too thick, I will. The, do you the, want me to plug this in? Yes. The, uh, the weather outside has a lot to do with... Where do you want me to plug this into? Because <laughs> we used all the outlets we that did are here. Use all right, well, we could do it here. They could kind of see, all okay. right? We'll, we'll move this. We're not the most prepared cooking <laughs> show in the world. And we don't have that do many that. outlets. All right, here we go. Perfect. That might actually... I'm sorry. That might actually be easier for them. That might be better. <laughs> Look how much easier you can see it from over there. Um, let's see. Where's the best place to stand? Um, all right, are you going to add an egg or are you going to try it like this? I'm going to try it first. So while it heats up, now, I'm here's the big keep debate. it closed. Here's the big debate on pizzel makers. Not wrong way. Um, when I prep my pizzel maker, I use a spray. Oh, please. Oh, big debate. Big debate. So I'm going to move this over here so it's out of the way. So I'll use a spray on it. Now, Diane is old school. No, no, no she spray. She's not using no, no spray. No spray. So I guess she's going to get a stick of butter. What do you do? <clears throat> yes, actually, I got it ready. So I just take tabs of butter. <laughs> yeah, no, no, no. <laughs> I, take, I, I make a tab of butter and then I cut it in half and then when the iron is hot I'm going to rub this on the spray top and the bottom it. and you only now why are you so against spraying because of the aerosols and the yeah. and then it makes the iron real sticky I love oh it. no 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 the iron, you see how clean that iron is dirty. and how nice it is? Dirty, I'm gonna no. like it. No. <laughs> no, I don't like that. Okay. <clears throat> All right. I'll show you real quick why that's heating up. These are uh, stainless steel uh, tubes that I purchased on uh, the Amazon. And About they're Amazon. used to make a cannoli shell with a pizzel. When it's hot, it's pliable. So we're gonna show you how we roll it. And because we're gluten-free, it's hard to find a gluten-free cannoli shell, so we make our own out of the pizzelles, and then you could fill it with a, a cannoli dip. There's plenty of recipes online that you can use, and they're delicious. They're really good. So good. So good. All right. So let me get the spray. 
No, don't spray it on my machine. Oh, no, 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 no. Uh, which way do you want? How can you see? Which way should I go with this? I told you. I put it exactly where it needs That's to be. That's where it needs to be. That's where it needs nah, to be. Right. So this is where we're not blocking this. it and people can see it. <coughs> um, so you can follow Diana's advice and use your weird pads of butter, but it works just as well if you just spray these. Um, and so you want to just make sure that it is uh, oiled or buttered in some way or it will stick to the yeah, yeah to that's the, a mess nobody wants once that. you get started and it's seasoned it's not going to stick sometimes you might have to do a little more if you, but butter 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 so we're going to take so this i used but years ago it's I a melon baller uh it's like a cook some people it's call a it a melon cookie ball. scoop it's a melon baller well whatever but it uh this like a, a tablespoon i think this one is and it's got that little thing so if you don't have this you get two spoons you pick it up and then you drop it with the spoon onto the, the hot iron. Okay. Okay. Here we go. So now. this looks good. Now I'm going to put a little bit of butter up here. In our tradition, here. the first pizzelle, the first seven pizzelles that come out <laughs> have to be tested by the assistant. So keep that in mind if you're the assistant. It's funny because when the kids are around, them. they eat them as fast as All we make them. them. Yeah. And somebody asked one time, are these cookies easily frozen? And no. the answer is no, because they there will they be <laughs> none left. Um, so we do probably nine to 10 weeks of cooking during the holidays, starting in like October all the way through to Christmas. And uh, we do our cookies in a certain order because uh, the ones that are easily frozen, we'll usually do first uh, early in the season, like the pecan balls, the seven layer um, cookies, They're already um, because you can make them ahead of time and you can freeze them. <coughs> um, pizzelles, we usually make closer to the holiday. So close to Thanksgiving, close oh, to Christmas. So good. Um, because A, we've never had any leftover to, to freeze. And uh, oh, I don't know that they this, freeze this, well, so. Um, but they're great. They are, they're not an overwhelming cookie. It's not like a really rich cookie or a really chocolate cookie. Oh, it's like they look perfect. Just a beautiful, yummy cookie. They look perfect. Oh, All right. Let me, so, I have to taste it. All right. Wow, when that's I, it. Well, that when, I, okay. when I do the scoop, it's not overly full. Don't, don't full it too much. And then you just get this. It's so easy. Look, you just pop it in here. All right. So I'm not going to touch on this them side. because... Like my mom said, um, when the pizzelles come out, they're a little pliable, on so they'll side. bend. So when they're they're dry, drying, airing out, <laughs> whatever. When they come out of the grill, you want to <laughs> leave them flat, flat uh, because that That's is hard. the traditional kind of way that they are served. So we're going to let these sit. But if you were going to roll them, you would be rolling them now yeah, I'm gonna show um, them in those that. rollers to kind of get them to then sit and be in like the shape of a cannoli or whatever it is you wanted. Now, a lot of times I've seen these served like on a cookie plate, but they'll put powdered sugar on Some them. Some people do, we never did. But We're not we those people. <laughs> um, but you can if you really wanted to be fancy because it looks kind of like a snowflake when it's done. Um, and each one will be a little different. So one so, side. For instance, this was the first batch. So you can see, uh, depending on how much um, of the batter that you put in, uh, sometimes you know the, sometimes the they'll go all the way out. But they look like little snowflakes. little snowflakes, little stars, uh, and they're super yummy. And like I said, if they're done right, they'll be crisp. Here we go. What do you think? Mm. What do you think? Come out good? Yeah, yeah. Mm. See, it's, it's still I warm, Dean. It's still, yeah, you did a great job. <laughs> mm -hmm. I like the anise flavoring. It reminds me of Christmas. It's just that that smell, you know, how certain smells and things, they just remind you of Christmas, and it's really, really good. When so these come out, I'm going to show you real quick how I'm going to roll a couple of them, uh, just to give you an idea. How many dishes do you think, please? Well, I have to keep it on a clean dish, Dean. Five, so these take maybe 30 seconds. They don't take long, so you do have to watch them and be careful. So when we take this off, quick. we take this off, and we have this roller. I'll bring it over here. Put it on the roller. Bring it over here. They can't see oh, me. All right. Well, that one's got to go already. Give me. I'll do the other one over there. Okay. Okay. There we go. Keep it down. That should be down so it gets hard, right? And then I'll do the other one over there. Okay, but. You if you want to show them, you got to show them over here. Okay. All right. All right. 
And the thing is hot. You know how hot it gets. All right. Okay, so, here we go. Here, I got it. It's hot. Just put it on the roller, roll it around, and then leave it down like this so that that side, it'll harden. And they harden very quickly. So this one, watch. Oh, Turn look at it that. So they can see look it. At this oh, way? No, yep. so they can see that it's a hole. Okay. How's that? Is that good? Sure. There yes. you go. <laughs> voila, it's a, it's a cannoli shell. Voila, that's the voila. shell. Voila, it's, it's a cannoli fresh shell. voila, but if you're telling you say voila, W-A-L-A, -A, that's yeah, the yeah, name yeah, of the show. But it's really good. And so you could look online for your favorite uh, so you cannoli can filling. These, yeah, fill them up. And they're gluten free. I know. And then we've even made a cannoli dip. And we've used these as the, the little dipper thing um, with the cannoli cream. And it's really, really good. Mm, so good. All right, well, listen. So I will be here for a little while. Diane's going to be here till Christmas, nah, finishing nah, all nah. of the pastels up. <laughs> uh, but don't forget, there's lots of great new movies coming out uh, this weekend. Don't forget to check out A Christmas for the Ages. I know. Uh, with oh, Natasha Beret and I lots know. of other amazing actors and actresses. I can't wait. Uh, bringing you some great shows, A Christmas Hero, A Royal Date for Christmas, all out this weekend. I hope you get a chance to try some pixels. They're super yummy. It might be a new tradition your family would love. They're definitely different and not like any other cookie uh, that's out there. And, uh, you know, enjoy it. Make them as a family. Kids love it. I used to love making these at grandma. I know, I know. And even uh, when Dina's children were younger, they're older now, we always would sit and make the pixels. They're really good. And they're and fun we to make. We usually make them at the holidays. Christmas usually is the only time. Sometimes around Easter we'll make them, but mm -hmm. that's that's why I think we appreciate them so much because we do it at a specific time. We don't make them year round. And when the kids come in and they see there's pizzas, we're like, oh, there's pizzas, and then we just sit around and eat them all. Now, so I'll I'll leave these to cool and I'll put them in stacks, and then mm. I put them in a container like this. Now this is a, an paper. official old lady Tupperware. All and line fire. line it with wax paper, stack them up, any container. But I mean, if you have a tin no, container, you could put. Be Real old, got to be Tupperware. And they should stay crisp. Should they get moisture and they bend, remember how you were talking about that? You can put them back in the oven on a flat cookie sheet for a few minutes and they'll crisp up again. But if you keep them, grandmom used to keep them I'm in, in a paper them. bag. What? I don't know if you remember, my mom would get a brown paper bag, put wax paper in there and line them up and then just turn it over and put a paper clip. And that would keep them crisp. Mm. Now that's the way she did it. I do use this, so but yummy. they don't last real long. They don't <laughs> last long. So listen, everybody, hopefully you've enjoyed our little uh, taste of Italian cookies this holiday season. Enjoy your oh. movie weekend. Enjoy the next few weeks going into the holidays. Uh, we want to thank everybody at uh, Great American Family. In case Family. you talk to oh. them when you put the pizzell in, this is the color. Bad <laughs> but it's still good. Still it's good. Still, good. still gonna eat but it. Don't don't yak while you're making them. Don't, Pay attention. <laughs> okay. Uh, so thanks for watching, everybody. If you want to follow us and our cooking show on Facebook, you can find us at Anything One Funny Mother. Uh, and we have a touring show we're doing now where we tour around the country with my son making jokes all about family um, but I hope you get to check us out somewhere uh, and thank everybody at Great American Family for asking us to be a part of this maybe we'll be back again sometime with some more recipes but have a great holiday everybody from myself everybody one funny mother and my mom Diane bye. and uh, we'll see you soon I'll see ya bye